All right, guys, welcome back to the King Closer Reacts. I am the King Closer, RJ Bates III, and today I'm going to be reacting to one of my favorite people in all of real estate investing, Mr. Superhuman himself, Aaron Bevins. Now, some of you might be like, RJ, you're always trash talking, giving Aaron a hard time. It's because I love the man. I love him. I love him for what he has done for real estate investing and just as a friend and as a person. All the trash talk that we do online is just a good fun. Uh, we love giving each other a hard time. But I have a ton of respect for him for what he's done for his community, the community that he's built, the superhuman wholesalers, and also just how he carries himself. Um, he's a great guy. I love him. Every time I talk to him, I gravitate to him and uh, normally end up spending all my time at events just talking to Aaron. So. I'm looking more to, to reacting to him today because Aaron's kind of been given a hard time about his closing skills because of his performances in the Closers Olympics. But here's what I'll say. He's doing a challenge right now inside of his community, trying to do $180,000 in 90 days. He's going to far exceed that goal, okay? Uh, he's already well on base to, to blow that out of the water. And I think it's a better format for him than the Closers Olympics. And here's the reason why. Because he can embrace no in these conversations. See, in Closers Olympics, if you're on the phone with a seller and it's not really a deal, it's really difficult to embrace no and get off of that phone call because you don't know if you're going to get another seller to talk to. So inside of his performances at the Closers Olympics, he kind of had leads that weren't really deals and he somewhat tried to manufacture deals. In here, in this challenge that he's doing, He's able to get off of that phone and move on to the next one. And I think that's why, one, I think this is going to be a positive reaction. And two, I think he's going to far exceed his goal and, and come out with just amazing results. All right. Now, going into this call, here's what I do know. I do know uh, that this does end up with a contract being sent. I don't know if it gets signed. I don't know how we get to that. I just do know that there's a contract that gets sent. And also, I do know that Aaron is heavily scripted. I do know that he has a script that he's going by. So I'm curious to see how I respond to that, how I react to some of the questions that he asks. But with that being said, let's get into this live seller call with Aaron Bevins and find out if he is a closer. Hello. Hey, Mr. Perry. Yeah. Hey, this is Aaron. This is Aaron. I was calling about the property there on Dayton Street. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. You spoke with one of my agents, and I just wanted to call and introduce myself because I'll be the one making you an offer on the property. Okay. This is when I talked today. When I talked to, uh, um, oh, I can think of his name now. Uh, I want to I say, I want to say it was, um, It might have been Ann. Was it Ann or Annie? No, it was a, a guy. Oh, okay. My car. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I'm not. One thing I will say about the way that Aaron kind of introduced himself, I've seen multiple people do this. At the at the beginning, they say, "Hey, this is Aaron," and then kind of awkwardly stop. I don't quite understand the, the thought process or the reasoning behind that because it does create for somewhat of an awkward start the conversation. I would prefer just to see Aaron come right out of the gates there and be like, hey, this is Aaron. I was calling about your property over there. You spoke to one of my agents earlier today about selling that property, and I'm going to be the one that's making an offer for you today. That way, so you got to just completely eliminate any questions Maybe there's a, a reason why he does it. I don't understand it, um, but I would have preferred to have seen that just right out of the gates. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about exactly which one of my agents you spoke to, but I'll be the one making you an offer if you have a couple minutes to talk. Okay, sure. I love it. I love it. Okay, so another big difference between what I like to do and what he's doing here. And it sounds to me like this is a cold call lead. Right, so he had some virtual assistant or someone on his team call this seller, um, and now he's calling back to make the offer. 
Uh, the problem with that is, is that it's really difficult when you're saying, I'm going to be the one making you an offer today, is that it kind of deleverages you from the st standpoint of they are selling you something and you're the buyer. Because now what you're saying is, is I'm here to make an offer on your property. So you can't really use like, how much you want to get for it? What's the number that you need? What's your walkway amount? Because it's like, well, you said you were going to make me an offer. Uh, that's why I'm big on, on not using the language offer. Uh, but this is this is his script. This is what he's doing. And he's obviously seeing success with it, which is why I love this series, because you can see there's so many different ways to get to the same result. So um, normally how these how these calls go, is, uh, you know, I'm going to ask, I have a couple questions for you about the property and you might have some for me as well, which is totally fine if we're going to do business together. And okay. then we'll see if the property qualifies for a cash offer. And if it seems like we're a good fit, then I'll draw up a purchase agreement for us to review the, uh, together before moving forward. Is that fair? Okay. Sounds fair enough. Okay. All right. So I, I do like setting the expectations of what's going to happen in the call there. Um, not necessarily something that I do myself. Um, again, I, I like to keep it a little bit less formal, uh, but I do like the, the getting the, the soft verbal there from the seller early on. Um, and then also letting him know, uh, a couple of things. We're going to see if the property qualifies for a cash offer. Uh, that opens up him up for some creative options, right? Like a novation, sub two, seller finance, something like that. And then also uh, getting him to the getting the seller to agree to, hey, you are prepared to sell the property today. Uh, does that sound good? And then they're going to move into the rest of the script. So I do like that setting the expectation. It's not necessarily something that uh, I'm going to do myself, but considering how the script is formatted for Aaron, I do like it. Right. And um, I'm taking a look at the property right now. I'm looking at the profile on it and it looks like it's in a it's in a, a neighborhood, uh, a zip code that I really like. Um, other than talking to me right now, what makes you want to sell the property, Mr. Perry? Well, what the deal is it's an inheritance thing. OK. My brother. And uh, I mean, I knew there were some things I had to do, you know, and stuff to fix it. But it's just like right now, I'm kind of getting old. And I really haven't got it in me to go to it. I've always done construction work and stuff on, on my side jobs and everything else. But anyway, uh, I just really hadn't had the time to do that much. And there's not really that much wrong with it, but it's just it's kind of time consuming stuff. But uh, anyway, no, I I was planning just going ahead and fixing it and renting it. Mm -hmm. But anymore, that's getting to be an iffy situation. You know, the way some of the laws have changed and stuff on renters. Oh, yeah. It's, it, isn't it crazy? Yeah, I know. No, I, I saw a deal in there. If a guy gets his mail at your house for a certain time around time, you can't boot him out. Mm. You know? And stuff like this. Yeah. You know? and I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, you know, I mean, in other words, you can work your butt off or something and then get it and then turn around and. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't want to go there. Yeah, no, I hear you. <laughs> so early on, finding out that pain and motivation as to why the seller selling, love that question. You know, besides talking to me today, what's got you looking to sell the property? Uh, again, would have loved to have seen Aaron ask early on how much you want for the property. Um, that's just not what most people do because if I, I just – I always naturally go back to how differently could this conversation have been using the closer's formula, right? Hey, you're looking to sell. Yes. How much you looking to get for it? 50,000. Awesome. Tell me a little bit about what you got going on. It's an inheritance. I was going to rent it out, fix it up, but things got crazy. Okay. You said not much needs to be done to the property. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? And then you're strolling right in and then we're determining if it's a good deal. This could be a pretty quick, easy close. Uh, Sounds like a great seller there. So really coming into this, you know, this is this is a beautiful scenario for Aaron where he's at right now. So what he's got to figure out at this point is, is what does he mean by it doesn't need a whole lot, just a little bit of fixing up, right? And then somewhat of an idea of what number this seller wants. 
That's what I'm going to be looking for moving forward uh, over the next four to five minutes. <laughs> My brother's been doing it for years, you know, but he's he's always had good runners and stuff. And he's, he's getting to the point that the guys kind of get tired too. So sure. Anyway, you know, that's that's the scenario there. I mean, if I don't sell it, I'll I will finish it, and I'll probably do have to rent it out or do whatever. But see, and the seller says if I can't sell it, well, this is what I'm going to do. That to me, what I just heard is, is that the seller has a specific dollar amount in mind that he wants to get for the property. So if that's the case, if Aaron's going to go purely the offer route without trying to get a number, he's going to be guessing on that. That that to me right now sounds like it's the most important thing to the seller. I want to get rid of it, but only if the dollar amount is right. Yep. Anyway. Completely understood. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Perry. Well, and well... Before I even ask you anything, just to kind of give you an idea about how we operate, we typically buy properties in as-is condition. We pay, we pay all the closing costs for you, and you don't have to pay any realtor fees or, and commissions. So for an offer like that, what price range did you need to be in if we could move fast and just make this the easiest transaction ever? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to let the property go for less than 300000 Okay. And because that's, that's the magic. And... Uh, the house I'd offered 320 at one time, and uh, I didn't want to sell it then mm -hmm. because it wasn't that long. It was in about four or five months of it. My brother passed. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, I was still going through probate and some other stuff at the time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, anyhow, you know, I mean, I, I looked at the deal and then what they were selling those for, and it was going from around, around 315, 320, and then all the way up to. Uh, at 372, I think it was mm -hmm. thousand. So I mean, for one, it was in good shape. Mm -hmm. So right here, I do like to see like Aaron is letting the seller really talk the bold. You did get a number out of them, three hundred thousand. So like that check, right? Uh, three hundred thousand. Riley Gates pretty much eliminates this being any sort of rental, in my opinion. Uh, it's very rare to be in a market where $300,000 price point plus repairs will cash flow. So this is immediately you're looking at, okay, what's my exit strategy? Probably flip. All right. So as you can see, Aaron right there is analyzing. And then his his partner here, Mo, is also pulling up comps for him to show him like, hey, you know, this is what the property you go for. So I do like the activity that Aaron's taking right here, right? We're deal analysis while this is a, a perfect example of anchor and analyze. He got the anchor in the water, 300,000. Now he's analyzing and letting the seller talk during an open-ended question. So pretty, pretty great right here by Aaron so far. That's mm -hmm. But anyway, so that, that's, where I, that's where I stand on my pricing. Got it, got it, understood. Understood. Uh -huh. Okay. And and can you just talk to me a little bit about the condition? We don't have to get into the crazy detail, but would you say yeah. would you say uh it's in perfect condition or or is it gonna need some some fixing up? So it needs a little it's bit. It needs a little bit of re the house is over, you know, and it's, it needs a little facelift. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And I went in there and stuff like uh, you know, I was looking at the cabinets up today and I thought to myself, you know. These are real wood cabinets and everything. They're in perfect shape, except the finish is getting kind of a little ragged on them and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, there's stuff like that. You, you, you uh, some guy would tear them out. And, you know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put this baseboard crap in there. Mm -hmm. I can take out a, a perfectly good wood cabinet that can be refinished and saved. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, that's that's up to whoever wants to buy it. They can do whatever they want there. But uh, yeah, but the uh, bathroom, uh, the one bathroom off the master bedroom. It's the one's going to need the work the most, I think. And uh, anyway, and it's not really a big deal because I did it even in my own house. I had a leaking shower pan, which I think they've got in that bathroom there. Mm -hmm. And I am taking the shower out and uh, and redoing. Uh, I'm glad. And then we did the, the you know, the, the sub floor and then I put the overlay and everything on myself. And then I tile it back and retile it. Mm -hmm. But uh, but in those days there, they didn't put you like shower pants like they used to now. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of get away from stuff that would kind of kind of like keep them talking, baby. Do some improvement on that kind of thing, uh, or some improved thinking, how we call it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, but that that's probably the worst one in the deal. The house there, 
the plumbing and everything seems to be fine. I don't see it leaking. I don't see it going down or anything. The house is built in the late 60s, yeah, from what I can see. And then uh, it, uh, I don't know, it's... Uh, I'm assuming what Aaron is doing right there on his phone is is he's doing math to figure out if he can make that how close he could be to that three hundred thousand dollar number or whatever sort of offer he's about to make. Um, really love the silence, you know, kind of just hitting him with, you know, I'm still here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, this is this is really solid by Aaron here, as long as. He's identified that the price is somewhat close, right? This is where the closer formula, you would be determining which one of the four buckets the seller falls in. I'm assuming we're we're right on the verge of highly motivated, price is incorrect. Uh, I'm assuming Aaron's going to want to get him down a little bit uh, on price. I don't know the location of the property, though. 300000 could be the perfect price. It's going to be okay, you know. I mean, it, it needs a facelift. I mean, what it does, it just needs a little bit of a facelift. I mean, I've already pulled all the carpets up and everything, so I've looked at the, you know, the flooring underlays and all that. And, uh, you know, everything's pretty good. And there are no problems. Uh, no, but I, I, I call it just, you know, kind of clean it up and make it shine, you know, type mm -hmm. of thing, mm -hmm. basically. The only, uh, only major thing you might have to do, like I say, do that thing in the shower or in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, that isn't uh, that isn't going to be that big a deal. I mean, and it's after the end. I'm I'm replumbing my house right now, so mm -hmm. if it wasn't for that, I don't be able to be working on that. Mm -hmm. So so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Well, well, look, I I think that um, we might be in the in the right ballpark. Um, it looks like I have all the information. Well, let me ask you this. I, I know that it was an inherited property. Is there anybody else who's going to have a decision? You know, uh, um, great no, question. I'm still sole executor of the estate. Mm -hmm. It's already, I've already went through escrow and the whole bit. It's like everything's in my name. Mm -hmm. I'm one and only on the deal. Got it. I have another brother. I mean, if something happens to me where I call him out, well, then it will go to him. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I don't see that happening right away. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know anything happening sure. today. But but that's the way it would stand right now. Understood. Understood. Okay. Well, it looks like I have all the information I need to see if this property qualifies for what we're looking for. I'm going to place you on a brief hold, Mr. Perry. I'm going to come right back to see if I can get a cash approval, okay? Okay. Okay. One moment. Okay. So this is not a wholesale deal because, well, may maybe it is. I'm seeing the ARV at 390. 395 um let's say 390 okay if if uh i'm thinking it's a cosmetic rehab so anything above 350 i call 0. 0.75 so 390 times 0. 0.75 means i'm selling the property at 292,000 he says i'm not accepting less than 300 if i want to make $25,000 on the deal i'm offering $267,000 cash however I do think it's an ovation deal. I think we can sell this on the market right now for three hundred and fifty thousand. So in order to run those numbers, three sixty-two. Yeah, 360. one one. Just the house next to it was sold three sixty-two. Uh, it took. Let me see how 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 long did it take on market? I guess it took something like sixty days on market to be sold. Okay, so that means that that means that I I can. This is a twenty-five thousand dollar novation deal if I offer them three hundred guys, because three sixty. Let's say 360 times 0. 0.9. That's paying all my fees. I'm selling the pro. Uh, my net sales price is like 324 after paying realtor fees. He wants 300. Y'all are seeing the numbers here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna offer the guy. I'm just gonna offer him 300, bro. I just want a contract. I just, I just want to quit. Are, would y'all, are, are y'all okay if I just try to get a contract at 300,000 and and make a 25,000 dollar deal? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? I just want to get rich, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be RJ Bates and try to and try to you know haggle and try to get what twenty four thousand dollars, twenty five thousand dollars. I'm cool. I'm yo. I don't haggle. What are we talking about right now? I'm the least. I I literally get told I'm the order taker. Appreciate the shout out though. I didn't know I get a shout out on this video. 
Uh, that's that's funny that he said I haggle. I'm cool with this, okay? So I, I'm gonna come back and just give the guy what he wants. Hey, Mr. Perry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I apologize about this. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Mr. Lee. I'm going to be curious to see how he explains the novation or if he explains it at all. Is there going to be an explanation of the fact that his exit strategy is a novation? That's what I'm curious to see about how this proceeds from this moment on. Very well. Um, so so here's here's what it looks like. I'd love to purchase this property for you and just make this the easiest possible transaction. It looks like I did get an approval for you, which is which is good news. Um, and and I just wanted to ask you one question before before I make you the offer, and that is, you know, how long did you need? Uh, on you know, uh, let's say me and you agree on the price. How, how long would you be? Uh, how, how how quickly would you be ready to move forward? Well, I guess as soon as it says the right offer, I'll come forward. I guess immediately. Okay, got it, got it. So here's what I'm here's what I'm thinking. I can pay all the closing costs here, so you don't have to worry about that. As I have mentioned, I um there there's no realtor fees involved, so you wouldn't have to pay anything like that. And and we would be able to to close in in uh, in sixty days or less. Now I'm not saying it would take that long. I'm just throwing throwing it out there, in case. That's that's, that's reasonable. Yes. And so and so for for an offer like that, it looks like I can be at three hundred thousand dollars. I can make this the easiest transaction. Um and and uh, and and we we call it a day. Is that something that that uh, you'd be willing to to work work with me on? Yeah, I, I think that would be fair enough, you know, because I was talking today to the fellow that was there looking at it, and he was uh, saying, you know, about he wasn't sure about how much he could offer. And then I started thinking, well, okay, I know the cost of everything's went up. I thought maybe I could get 320 for it, but then I started thinking, you know, cost of material will run up, you know, and all this other stuff. I mean, you guys, if you get it done, I mean, you ought to be able to do it. I would think 60, 70,000 out of it, maybe. Yeah, you know, I would think, but the price of housing isn't going down. The only thing it's going up is the damn interest rates. <laughs> <laughs> that that is so true. That is so true. And hopefully, hopefully, we see a leveling out before the end of the year. But but um, but who knows? Who knows with everything that's going on right now? It's a selection goes right Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't that the ain't that the truth? Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Larry. What what's the what's the the best email for you? Okay, I've got, I've got a Gmail, uh, So that was an interesting explanation of the, the novation. I, I don't hate it because he got the approval for the 60-day close. Although it is, they did say it was 60 days on market. Um, All right, I have it right now. And uh, are you in front of your email? Because I can draw up the paperwork in just about a minute or so. That way we can just review it. Just uh, that. Review. I, I haven't got my computer on. I think my neck is warm it up. Well, it's going to take me a minute to to uh, to draw up the paperwork anyway. Why, why don't we do this? Let, let me place you on a brief hold. Let me get the paperwork started while you get your computer on, and then I'll, I'll come right back once I have the paperwork ready for you. Okay, oh, okay bear with me. Give me about a minute, or a couple minutes well, or so, and we'll draw okay, up the paperwork right now. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Let's go, baby. We do this. Great job. Every single day of this challenge thus far, we've been we've been getting agreements, baby. It's because we're calling the highest quality leads. Stop playing with y'all. Better put some respect on my name. Y'all better put some respect. Anyway, I'm not trying to be cocky. I'll praise to the Most High. I'll praise to the Most High. Bro, should we drop like a regular purchase agreement? I got him on. I got him on pause. I got him right now. Going to his email right now. I need for y'all to put some fire emojis in the comment section, because even if you don't like me, 
Even if you're here because you want to see me fail, you got to at least respect the fact that on day four, we've gotten, we up until now, bro, this is, this is, okay, that's a $25,000 deal. We're already at a hundred and what? $115,000, y'all. In four days? $115,000, y'all. And we said we were going to do $180,000 in 90 days. Stop playing with it, bro. Come on, bro. I'm feeling away. I'll pray to the most high. I'll pray to the most high. I'll pray to the most high. All right. So I have to say, I do love the, the celebrating and all of that uh, because I talk about this, the compound effect of momentum. Uh, and he said it. I, I love the fact that he said, I just want to get the contract. Let me get this under a contract for 300000 Let me move this on. We can do an ovation on it. Going back to the explanation of Novation, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more um, explanation to the seller because I do see like a little bit of issues once you're under contract and then you go to list the property and everything like that. Like there's going to be a, a need for further explanation uh, further down the road. But that being said, this moment right here, love it. I love it when you when you generate momentum for yourself in life and in business and you embrace it and you carry it, he's pumping himself up. Uh, this is like when you see a basketball player nail a, a huge shot, get that three. Maybe they've been struggling throughout the day or whatever it is to celebrate and let everybody know, like, I'm him. That's who I am. I can do this all day, every day. And then bring it back and going back to the momentum that he had already generated in the first three days. Like, listen, we're already up 100 plus thousand, 115,000, I think he said, in four days. That's huge. That's great. I love this. It is. Mo, are you uh, Mo? Are you drawing up the purchase agreement? Yes, I'm working on it. Just I'm about to I'm about to put I'm about to put the email right now. I'm about to put the email right now in the in the private chat. And the legal description. Should, should I send them like a regular purchase agreement or should we get like a template of, of an ovation agreement? Let's just do the template, bro, for speed. Remember the last time we, we lost the yeah. deal yesterday yeah. right. on right. a counter? Right, right, right. So I need just the legal description and his email. Okay. Mr. Larry, just to uh, just to give you an idea, um, give, give us a couple more minutes. We're, we're putting all the details in the paperwork right now for you. I had to add it on in a couple of days, so not letting it walk Turn around and check itself in. Okay. <laughs> no problem at all. No problem at all because because uh, that gives me that gives me time to to draw up the the paperwork for you without rushing. Okay. W one moment, please. I'll be right back. Okay. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Huh. Aaron, we're putting <laughs> respect on your name, bro. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Look what my man Kingpin said. He said, God is still blessing the business. For every, I, I hope, look, everybody who's watching this, everybody who's watching this, y'all can see. Anybody who tells you that this business is oversaturated or, or, you know what I mean? You can't make money in this business. Four days in, and we're at nine. We're we're at a hundred. We're at a hundred. What, what's 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 ninety? What's ninety thousand plus twenty five thousand? It's like hundred and fifteen. Hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, y'all. In so a couple of days here. In this one individual video here, Aaron has brought up different individual videos and topics that I've talked about the past couple of months. One, he talked about time kills all deals, right? He talked about, hey, use the template. We lost the deal the other day because we didn't, and we lost time kills all deals. Love that. Now he's talking about wholesaling is saturated, okay? Wholesale is not saturated, all right? Especially if you have good leads. That's what he's talking about. I'm calling the best leads. That's why he's closing this deal. Love the fact that he pointed back to, hey, it's not that I'm an amazing closer or, or my amazing script. He said, I'm calling great leads. The foundation of a wholesaling business starts and ends with your lead generation. You got to have great leads. It starts there. Love that he brought that up. 
wholesaling is not saturated. I full heartedly believe we are in the golden age of wholesaling right now. And then they get even further back with even the celebration and what, what he's talking about with the activity that he's had in his challenge, the compound effect of momentum. That's three different videos that we've talked about. Aaron is like social proof right here about those topics. Um, love it. And I love the fact that he's just embracing this moment. He, he's riding that momentum wave. In four days, yo. And we're doing it live. So y'all know we can't fake the funk, bro. Stop playing, bro. All right, hold on. Let me get, let me, let me, let me stop celebrating in it so I can get to work. No one wants to do it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put in the private chat. I'm gonna put You're a rare chat. breed, brother. You're a rare breed. I love it. Look, look, uh, Sha Sha Shahir says, please share the lead source again. It's standard VA. Sha uh, Sha Shahir, can you do me a favor? Set go go to Facebook and send me a DM, and I'm I'll connect you. I'll connect you with the same team that that that's that's putting that that's giving me my leads. Stop playing, bro. Like. I know I'm probably getting on people's nerves because I know I'm mad loud. I came yeah, in the house today and I was like singing yeah, and stuff. And one of the old. kids was like, Aaron, you're loud. Bro, we like, need I the email, the link in the description, and uh, earnest money deposit. Should I put like 500? Just put 500, bro, because I don't want to lose any deals on account of uh, of that. You know what I mean? So just put 500. Yes. All right. So let's link the link in the description. All right. I, I, I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Uh, 60 stop. days. 60 days closing day. I might touch base to that right, seller. description. Bro, you know what? The other deal was sold in 40 days. 300,062. 362. Not, not 60. Oh, here's the legal description. I found it. All right, boom. All right. I'm putting the legal description in the chat right now. All right. Yeah, it's called Standard VA. It's called Standard VA, uh, Shahir. And uh, or Shahir, if you wanna, if you wanna uh, send me a DM on, on Facebook. I oh, touch base with that seller, and, and I'll connect. I'll actually connect you with them. But let me let me tell y'all, like these leads, y'all are seeing me lock up the leads live, so y'all know it's not just me on some cap, like talking or or some merch talking about. Oh, these are the best leads. Like now, nah, like. Y'all are seeing me lock up these leads live. Like, like even the individuals that are Aaron. not wanting to move forward, y'all can see that they're still high quality leads. I have never called leads these fire. So I know some of y'all might be thinking to yourself, bro, like, how is how is my guy locking up $115,000 in four days and they set the goal of locking up $180,000 in 90 days? I'm not even going to hold you. It's because of the lead source. I'm. Yes, it's like yes. at this point, I'm like holding a shotgun into a, a barrel full of fish. Absolutely, bro. Contract is sent. Let's okay. get him signed. Okay, we're gonna get him to sign right now. Okay, Mr. Larry, are you there? Yes. Okay, were were you able to uh, to load up your computer? Well, it's still working right now. For some reason, it's not taking my. No worries, no worries at all. No worries at all. I'll tell you what, we we um we've drawn up the paperwork and and um we've we've uh, we've sent it. So what I'm gonna do is is uh I'm just gonna review it again and and then uh, I'll I'll place you on a hold again and I'll come back in just in just a, a couple minutes just to check up on you if that's okay. Okay, see what's going on. Now I'm gonna take time when you get through this. I need to go over it. That's totally fine. Yes, and uh, make sure that yeah, you know, what I'm seeing is what I'm seeing. Of course, of course, absolutely. I wouldn't expect anything less. What? Probably. We sent we sent it via via electronic signature, so you can absolutely print it out if you like. But but also we can do everything via electronic as well. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not going to sign off on anything tonight. I want to read all this first before I sign off. Is that okay with you? That, that, that's, that's totally fine with me. I, I don't want to rush you. 
Now, now, um, if we were to review it together and and uh, if everything is straightforward, would you consider moving forward today, or or um, that that's completely out of the question for you? Well, I'd like to give it a, a day or so, so I get a chance to at least move things over. Okay. Okay. And the path a little bit too. I mean, I'm not going to just jump into the bull speed. I want to know what I, exactly what I'm doing, and I got to make a couple of deals because I got I want to make sure everything's legal. What I'm saying. I don't want to have to run into these people down the way later again. I understand. I understand. Okay. Well, that that's totally fine. Well, I'll I'll still work with you and and um and uh, I'll place you on a brief hold while your computer gets loaded. That way, at least we can review the paperwork together. So based off of that seller, what the seller just said there, again, I'm a little bit concerned about the novation route because I, I don't think that the seller knows that that's taking place um, and it could like set off some alarms down the, the down the road if he doesn't take the time to explain it right now. Now, that being said, it sounds like they're going to go through the contract together um if the seller could get his his computer upload so let's see how this plays out okay sounds good okay i'll be uh i'll place you on a hold and i'll i'll be ba back in just a few minutes to check on you okay yes sir all right he's saying that he's saying like let's review it together he's like but i don't want to sign it right now One All right. So, so he's saying right? he's on mute right now. He's saying that he doesn't want to sign right now, and so um, I'm still gonna try to get him to sign once we're once we review it together. That's why that's why we're gonna review it together. But um, but I'm definitely not gonna pressure him. I'm definitely not gonna pressure him because he he right. strikes me as an owl. Um, yeah. Shahia says, sent you a Facebook DM for the lead source. I got you, Shahia. I definitely got you. Um, Luis, Luis has, says, do you use DocuSigns or what do you use? We actually use right signature. We use right signature. And a grid of a Podio can send, send contracts out of Podio, uh, like from Podio using right signature. So it's, and instead of go back and forth and have to rewrite the contract from the beginning, you can just fill some information on Podio and you can just click on just one click. It's going to be sent automatically to the server. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Stop playing with it. Let's go. You got it, man. We, we got it. Yeah, it. Right. Yeah, gotta go the moment stuff, thought of it man. all. Facts. <laughs> Here's one of those things. These are the moments that like separate closers from non-closers, though. Um, not saying he has to get this signed today for him to be a closer, but th this moment. A lot of people from here on will mess this up because they're excited because they've got that somewhat uh, dopamine hit of having a seller say yes and, and verbally say, yeah, I mean, that sounds good. I mean, realistically, at this point, Aaron had a great lead. He did very great job of closing by – Staying out of the way, asking great questions, doing deal analysis, underwriting and saying, my exit strategy is innovation. It's what I want to do. Here is where he has to earn his money. Getting that signature, right? Making the seller, the problem with how simple the closing process was, is that there wasn't a ton of credibility built for the seller. So that's where I talk about reverse report, right? So call a seller. Hey, do you want to sell? Yes. How much you want for it? 300,000. Okay. Tell me what you got going on. It's an inherited property. Needs a little bit of work. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Think I'm good to move forward at 300,000. Let me walk you through how our process works. That credibility segment was missing here a little bit. And because of that, seller does have some questions. So now that he's sending the contract, it's not that that was a missed opportunity. It just hasn't happened yet. So I would like to see Aaron really build that credibility um, when they're going through the contract to make sure that that's how he's going to get the signature, in my opinion.
it, it, it's it's not a, a 100% of the time, but more often than not, what is needed right here is that credibility with the seller. The, Aaron, for your information, the contract is going to be in the primary in inbox or the promotions. Okay. Hey Mo, I'm just I'm checking back in to see to see um, if you were able to to load up the computer yet. No problem at all, and 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 I don't want don't uh, not that y'all are, but definitely you don't have to be flustered and and uh, just take your time, and um, and I'll just keep checking in every few minutes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna place you on a brief hold, and then I'll come back in just a few minutes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Luis says, wow, does Podio have that set up or is it set up manually? It's set up manually. Oh, get, and, and you know what's dope about it, Luis? Back, like, where are y'all at? Like, how do y'all feel about the. Yeah. Does I stop at eight o'clock? To to to. You show you show me. Did we lose the seller? What that tells you is that Aaron chill. <laughs> when not signing up? Yeah. He's he he's saying that he's not gonna sign anything. So I will. To give you guys an idea, it took about 20 minutes for them to get the computer uploaded and for them to get to this point. Um, and then where we're picking up, Aaron is saying he's saying he's not going to sign. But I don't know if he's talking to him right now. He's just kind of listening because I think he's waiting on them. Um, this is extremely frustrating for a closer. Um, you know, you got the, the deal on the hook. You can't set the hook, you know. Um, he hasn't really even had an opportunity yet to have a conversation with the seller. This this is frustrating. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't think it was going to be. They were talking about it. He's like, I'm, tr I'm trying to watch my show, and I don't care about this. And he's like, well, I'm glad, I'm glad to know you don't care. And she's like, well, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> She thinks I, like I just told you. I'm trying to watch that. I'm not trying to see like what he's telling you or anything. She else. she thinks that it automatically signs. She's hey Larry. This thing is not coming up. Okay. Okay. You said it's not coming up? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We we just we said that we would review it together. If you don't want to sign today, I'm definitely not going to pressure you. No, no. All right, lovely. Okay, let's 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 go over. Yep, and then and here's and here's the. Here's the cool thing. If you have any questions or concerns, um, that's why I, I I'd like to review with you. That way we can address them and we can talk about it together. Okay. Okay, just a one form here. Yes, sir. It, it's a very simple form. We this is what we utilize for for um, for all of the deals that we do. And and um, once we review it, let's say whenever you are ready to move forward. Um, we would open up escrow together and we don't do anything under the table. Everything that we do has to have an insurance policy 
and and get signed off by by a licensed under uh, underwriter and escrow officer. Oh, okay. Okay, that sounds good. Yep, and I want to make sure everything you know. Okay, buyer, seller, and all that. Okay, offer plasma. Well, that pretty much says what it is. Mm -hmm. The purpose of this property is contingent upon parts there. Okay, I don't know. I just know it. It's okay. Okay, if you buy it from under the deposit, it will be paid by. Okay, if you. To buy the property, do not fill the obligation in the office. The deposit mentioned above will be paid. I actually don't have a problem with him allowing the seller to walk himself through this. Sometimes I will actually walk the seller through and explain every single line. Um, and then sometimes with a seller with this type of personality, you want them to steer the ship here and find the one or two things that they're going to find in the contract that they're going to have questions about. Because sometimes when you open it up and you say, okay, well, this is what this is, it might alarm them about something that shouldn't even be an alarming thing, right? Um, some of it's just legal jargon that's on every real estate purchase and sell agreement, right? So I like the fact that Aaron right now is just letting the gentleman go through and figure out what he wants to, to have an objection to. The seller without any recourse for either. Okay. The deposit paid to buy this offer is, uh, what do you got in there? 500? Yes, sir. That's a, that's a, a non refundable earnest money. That way you know that we're the real deal. We're not here to waste any time. We deposit that money to escrow on your behalf. And if if I waste your time and I default on the agreement, that's your money. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure that because I'm I just wonder if I'm taking some money that locks me in on a deal. That's the whole thing I'm kind of concerned about. What, what do you mean? I'm, I mean, you know, if something I don't know, anything can happen. I'm just saying I don't want to get locked in on. Um, oh sure, sure. So so what 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 that that deposit is actually paid to the escrow officer. And so that's called earnest money. And what that does is, is it lets you know that that we're, we're just that, that we're earnest, we're the real deal, and that we're ready to close whenever title's clear. Okay. Okay. I thought it'd be a little bit more to it. I have to go through and I want this other paperwork on it here and start reading out of it. It went through a lot, a lot more stuff going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, there's there. Well, the, the thing about it is that the reason why we we've, we've simplified our agreements is because you know there's no fine print here. It's it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, where our objective is to purchase the property for the agreed price. Um, we have we have a a closing date, which is typically about thirty days, thirty to sixty days out. Um, once the agreement is is um, complete by both of us. We submit it over to the title company that's that's local to you. So I believe the title company that we'd be utilizing is it's right there in in uh, Vesalia, and so um, you know that's where we would go to close. And what's that? Are you operating here in California? Or are you out of state? I'm personally out of state. I'm in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, okay. But, but the, I, I had a little girl call me earlier today, and I couldn't understand what she's saying until so kind of an Asian accent. Is that your, one of your representatives? Yes, sir. That that was actually that was actually um, she's on my team. That's Annie, I believe. Yeah, that's what I get. I couldn't understand what she was saying because I then my car and I was on the computer in my car trying to figure out what was going on, and you know she was. See what's happening here? This is what I was talking about earlier when I said this is where he's going to earn his money. Because suddenly now he remembers talking to Annie. Remember at the beginning of the conversation, he didn't remember Annie. Now all of a sudden, I talked to some girl. Are you out of state? I talked to a girl with an accent. I couldn't remember her. Now all of a sudden... Aaron is having to earn every single one of those $25,000.
right this second. This is where a closer has to close. And the thing about this is this man is not making it easy on him. This man is saying right here, I'm not going to sign. I, I'm a little bit curious. His his stance on that is, is I'm not trying to pressure you. I would have preferred him to say, why are you not going to say? I'm giving you what you want. See, this is where if you take the standpoint of you're the buyer and they're selling, I would have pulled away. I would have run away from it. Uh, all right, Larry. Maybe we misunderstood each other. I thought you said you wanted to sell your property for $300,000. I'm ready to give you $300,000 a day. Um, I don't I don't understand. What did I misunderstand? And, and, and continue to backtrack from here. I would have preferred to see a little bit of aggression here from Aaron. Uh, but again, he wants to get the contract. But the problem with wanting to get a contract is, is sometimes you don't end up with them because you want it. Sometimes you have to do things that uh, are counterintuitive to the result. Walk away from it can get you the result. Chasing after it might not get you. I feel like Aaron's chasing a little bit here. He's got to overcome this objection about Annie and, and the, the, the accent. Uh, and also, being in San Antonio, does that matter? Why is this being brought up in the 51st minute? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but no, I'm I'm here in San Antonio, and but the title company will be local to you, and we do we do deals in in this area all the time, and and that's why we're so confident with the numbers and everything. Okay, here, and and I'm not going to waste your time if that's the case. Oh, I accidentally clicked the wrong button. I had to go back. God dang it. Uh, the problem with what he just said there, I can't believe I messed that up, is when he said, you know, we do deals there all the time, is when someone like this, an elderly gentleman, he could say, oh, okay, well, can you send me three settlement statements? Can you tell me three addresses? Um, that would be my fear, right? Because uh, I don't know how many deals. It sounds like this is a kind of a somewhat random location in California. Now let's figure out if I can figure out where we were in this conversation since I clicked the wrong button. Address them and we can talk about it together. Okay. I just wonder if I'm taking some money that locks me in on a deal. Hey, we're a little it bit is uh, complete by both of us. We submit it over to the title company that's that's local to you. So. I believe the title company that we'd be utilizing is it's right there in in this is a little we're a little bit further along. I understand what she's saying so kind of the Is that your, one of your representatives? Yes, sir. That that was actually that was actually um she's on my team. That's Annie, I believe. Yeah, that's what I get. I couldn't understand what she was saying because I was in my car and I was on this. You computer in my car trying to figure out what was going on and you know she was telling me not having a hand because every time hearing her something. Yeah I'm, I'm sorry about that but no I'm I'm here in San Antonio and but the title company will be local to you and we do we do deals in, in this area all the time and, and that's why we're so confident with the numbers and everything. Oh okay. Yeah because they were talking about I had another company here locally that was trying to buy it too. Because they hadn't agreed on a price. I talked to them today. They came over and inspected the place and everything. Mm -hmm. And I told them what I was expecting. And they didn't lock a price in or nothing. So I don't know. I didn't know how serious they were about it. So. Sure. But anyway, okay. Well, okay. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is um, so long as you're agreeable, then we would complete the paperwork. And uh, once you complete it, um, we would we would submit it over to the title to open escrow. Escrow would get us a, a, a title commitment as well as a, an insurance policy. And they would provide us HUD documents for you to review. And once you review it and and you you sign off on it, in other words, you say you say, uh, hey, we're good to go. We schedule a closing. 
typically that closing will be within 30 to 60 days of us of us completing the paperwork and then um, of course the escrow officer is going to want to know how you want your money would you like a check or a, a wire transfer I mean, it, it, that's your prerogative. However, however you prefer to to get the money, whether it's a, a wire or, or a, a check, it's it's completely up to you. Again, what did he have to do here? He's having to build that credibility later on to get this close. We're still under the impression that the seller's not going to sign. I hope that once he says, you know, that the seller, based off that explanation that Aaron just gave, he said, gives says something like, okay, that sounds good. I think at that point, I would have to say, Larry, I'm giving you what you asked for. What am I missing as to why we're not signing this agreement today? So, okay, well. Can do it either way. What is it you just you're doing on one of the banks here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so whoever you bank with, um, you know, most of the people that we work with, they typically prefer a wire. The reason why is uh, is because you know a three hundred thousand dollar check is gonna. If you're not used to cashing those those types of checks, you know, your your bank is typically gonna take about a week to two weeks to clear. <laughs> uh but but of course it's your prerogative you know i don't i i'm not here to to persuade you you know um here or there now i will say this the wire transfers that that are sent over are are they they, they they're those funds are available the same day but it's up to you on how you would how you would want to do that again there's uh, everything that we do is above the table and it's and it's uh, performed by a licensed uh, uh, escrow officer who's licensed with the state of California. Yeah, this is one of those things. He's done a really good job of avoiding this, so I'm not I'm not busting him on this. Um, and it's part of his credibility building uh, spiel, right? But sometimes we just say things that we don't need to say. And it, and it can specifically with an elderly person, it can, it can get them going down a rabbit hole that we don't want to go down. Right now, we're going down a rabbit hole about them getting a wire. Like, bro, let the title company deal with that. And I totally get it that this is like a thing. It's it's you know multiple people with brands in our industry right now or kind of pushes. How would you like to receive your money? Wire it, it gets them off of other objections. The problem is, is that you're worried about what their objection is. I'm worried about what my objection is. We're approaching an hour and we don't have a signature. I need, I need a signature, sir. Um, and we're not even talking about that. We're talking about how he's going to get his money when we don't even know if he's going to sign the contract. Not saying that Aaron, you know, he, he did a really good job of avoiding a lot of the unnecessary things that we say. Um, in this industry, but this one right here, I would scratch it out. I'd probably eliminate this one. Yeah, that that way, that way, everything ha that happens is a uh, is above table, and we have a an insurance policy on the transaction, and that protects both you and I. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, well, I guess. Let's do the next step, I guess. We'll go ahead and move ahead. Uh, uh, now, I got, got to copy this off somehow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you want to move forward, you can You can go ahead and complete the paperwork now, and we can open escrow as soon as tomorrow morning. Now, I, I, I can't copy it because that's not working on my machine right now, my computer. So I don't know. Can you call it as a morning? Sure. My wife and I will keep talk tomorrow morning so we can get this so we have a little bit more time to, you know, is that okay with you? Yes, sir. What what would be the best time to give you a call back? What do you think? Okay. 
I would have explained to him. I can walk you through how we can sign a day, and here's the reason why I would like to do that. I've been in these situations before where I set aside three hundred thousand dollars, and people say I need some more time to think about it, and then they don't answer the phone, and and then I'm continuously changing. I just want to know if you guys are ready to move forward. We can move forward. If you really need to think about it, then I need to think about what I'm doing with my three hundred thousand dollars. I would have. There's a time and place to apply pressure. I, I feel like this would have been the time to apply some pressure here because if it's a technolo if it's technology that's slowing them down, we can educate them on that. Um, oh, man, we were so close. He was ready to do it, too. If you don't be here anytime that you want to, I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, so I'll even eat. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, so I'll even Bro, if my wife talked to me like this, I'd shoot myself in the face. <laughs> I'm going to make us $300,000. Why are you talking to me like this, woman? Should that be a uh, uh, Indian street? I'm, I know it probably is, but I mean, I'm, we kind of need that extra time. Sure, okay? sure. What what time are you thinking around 12 o'clock your time? Well, it'll we'll be later than that. Uh, okay. You you just let you just let me know when when the when the the most convenient time is for you and then I'll lock it in my calendar for you, Mr. Larry. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, would that work for you? I'm not trying to stall on you. I just want to have a moment here because I'm really stalling. Also, back this place. Sure, I I completely understand. I completely understand. I mean, yeah, everything seems to be right, but I want to make sure. So, uh, how about uh, how late? Well, I'll talk to my time there. You guys are right here at six thirty. How about about uh? Uh, five, four, well, five Pacific. Would that work? Uh, five p.m. Uh, five p.m. Your time tomorrow. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's do it that way, and then we'll see. That'll give my computer a chance to my this thing. I think kind of what's going on here with this. Okay. So anyway, that way there we can do this, and I uh, if I get this thing signed off, we get this in, in works. Beautiful, beautiful. And and uh, is this your cell phone, Larry? Yes, it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to text you my information. And if you happen to have any questions or your brother has any questions or any concerns, feel free to text or call me back anytime, even before 5 p.m. to your time tomorrow. That way we're on the same page together. I want you to know that we're serious. We do a lot of good business. We have a great reputation and I'd love to earn your business. And so... Um, if nothing else, then I'll, I'll call you at 5 p.m. your time tomorrow, and then we can go from there. Okay, that sounds good enough. Give me a couple minutes to catch my breath and see what's going on, too, okay? Absolutely. I love it, and, and I'll talk to you soon, Larry. Okay, thank you. Very much. And your name again is? My, my name is Aaron Bevins. Aaron Bevins. I'm the, I'm the owner of the company, yes, sir? Okay, my wife just said she said it's all now. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Good enough. Okay. That, that would make me happier, and I think they'd give me kind of a chance here to get my stuff in order here in my computer and whatever, too. It's okay. That's great. Okay, let's do that. All right, perfect. I will I'll talk to you tomorrow. And if you need anything, feel free to reach out to me, Larry. Okay, I will do that. I've got this stuff here right now. And I've got some numbers and stuff. I can let me see where is that. Man, man. Oh, those calls are those car calls are, are rough, man. Uh I feel for Aaron. Um Again, there there are things that we can do to avoid that outcome, but sometimes it's it's inevit it's inevitable that you're going to end up with a seller like that. Okay, um, applied pressure at different points in time. There was a moment earlier uh, where we're about halfway through the call. Um, he said, "I'm not signing anything." Um, Aaron could have definitely applied pressure there, um, especially considering the the nature of the call. Right, this is a a closers formula esque call um where he got a number out of the seller he said yes to the seller um and because of that he really could have applied pressure now let's get to the the question here is aaron bevins a closer uh, yes aaron is a closer he has refined his skills uh, he has a process um i always talk about the closer formula because it's my process right i think it's the best process out there Aaron has a process. It clearly is working for him. Uh, do I agree with everything about the, the process? No, I, I would I would like reorganize some of the things where he does it. I would take some things away and insert some other things, right? So I would take away the, the inside of the credibility package. Um, I, I would take away the, the wire check thing. Uh, I, I don't like that. Um, probably would have added the credibility prior to the end. Um, I would like to talk about price twice in the conversation. He only has it once. See, we like to talk about price early. So we would have gotten 300000 Okay. Then talk about pain and motivation. Then talk about the condition. Then talk about the timeline. Then build credibility. And then ask the exact same question he asked, which was, if I can cover your closing costs, no realtor commissions, what's the best price you can do for me? I know the seller said 300000 We proved it time and time again. I guarantee you that number could have been lower than $300,000. Uh, but that being said, Aaron, great job for the most part. Um, you know, in result, I'm assuming the next day, we got the signed contract. The, the the problem is there's the possibility that that didn't happen. I've seen Aaron have a lot of conversations with sellers. This is one of the best ones I've seen him have. The reason why is because it's probably the least amount of talking that Aaron's done. I believe in letting the seller sell you on the property. So great job, Aaron. Uh, I'm proud of you, brother. I'm proud of you for what you're doing for your community and this challenge. You're one of the rare ones, brother, that will do this live for everyone to see. In reality, what I see is, is there's me, there's you, there's Jerry Norton, and there's Kong. Every, there's a few other ones that will post videos every now and then. Not necessarily live, pre-recorded. You're doing it live. You should be proud of yourself. Stick with it, man. Um, and like you said in, in the notes there, a year from now, you wish you started today. Keep doing it. You'll be amazed at your results at the end of those 90 days. Um, Aaron Bevins is a closer, people. You heard it here. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, make sure you like this video. Give Aaron a shout out, man. That was a crazy call. Great video for us to review. So, Aaron, thank you for the content, brother. See you guys.